I would like to show you, you know, everything is in the beginning. Uh, Genesis, the book of beginnings, and Genesis 1 through 11, so crucial. So many truths are taught there that are, are going to be the foundation of everything. In Genesis chapter 9 and verse 5, God sets up human government for the first time. It was God who set up human government. He said, Genesis 9, 5, And surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast, will I require it. At the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood by man, shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God made he man. So God placed men in charge of protecting other men. God made the sanctity of life valuable and important and set up human government. Um, we know uh, that Noah told us about how his children would turn out. And uh, you know what? As the way we train and teach them, that's the way they'll go. But God has set up human government. And uh, as Christians, we are taught to respect human government. Um, we, uh, uh, we are to respect the sanctity of life. So if a man kills a man, that man receives capital punishment. That's just what God said do at the very beginning in the first 11 chapters. In Genesis chapter 9, that's what God said do. Then we get to Romans chapter 13. And so from the beginning, now we get it, we get it working out even more. The Bible says in Romans 13, 1, let every soul be subject, obey higher, higher powers. For there's no power but of God. The powers that be, the authorities that be, are ordained of God, chosen by God, and placed by God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance, the orders, the commands of God. Uh, and they shall they that, that resist shall receive of themselves judgment, damnation, it says, that's judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will you be afraid of that authority? Do what's good and you shall have praise. Good government praises good behavior. And they are the ministers of God, it says in Romans chapter 13 and verse 4. And we are to be subject to them. Now, government can't establish morality. That's God's department. God is the one who decided. Government doesn't get to choose whether or not an unborn is a life or not. And God, uh, uh, government doesn't choose that. God does. And, and government doesn't choose that you can do like Canada and kill thousands of your own people as they get older and, and euthanasia or if they want to die on their own and assisted suicide. Governments can't do that. A healthy government needs healthy citizens. They need people that learn from God what's right and wrong. The church is the salt and light of the world. We're the ones that's supposed to help the world know what's right, not the government. We are not to command people to serve God. No time should there be a church religion, a state religion that to me it tells people, and the United States was started that way. Almost every state had its own religion. And so we are salt and light. Don't try to make people do right, just be right. You do what you're supposed to do, you live like you're supposed to, and we will influence the world around us. Thank God he decided to tell us how men ought to act and react.